So apparently, Ruby Amity Arena is shutting down. And according to some certain people in the fandom, this somehow in a roundabout way means that Ruby's not coming back from its mid-season hiatus. Okay, I gotta say to that logic, what the f***? Hey guys, it's Kanan, and some big news is going on in the Ruby world. Um, so this was posted December 27th, 2020, on the Ruby Am Amity Arena uh, Twitter page, pretty much saying, Hello players, unfortunately we must announce that Ruby Amity Arena service will end on January 28th, 2021. Full details can be found on Facebook or for within the game. And I went on Facebook on my phone, and it pretty much reads as, Dear Huntsmen and Huntresses, Every journey must come to an end, and unfortunately, we must announce that Ruby Amity Arena service will end on Thursday, January 28th, 2021. We hope that you have enjoyed the time you spent in the virtual Vital Festival tournament while you carried this little piece of remnant around with you. Thank you for playing and supporting our game. Please accept our sincerest apologies that we cannot maintain the game indefinitely. This isn't a decision that we came to lightly, and we appreciate your understanding. And it states that the shutdown date is, of course, January 28th, and the end of payments and the and the ability to download the game will end on January 3rd. Now, a lot of people are, understandably, upset about this. Um, and it, it's weird, because there's already a bunch of theories going around about why this uh, happened. And there's several reasons. And before I get into why I think the game is going away, um, let's take a quick look at the history of Rooster Teeth and Ruby games. The first one I want to bring up is, of course, the Ruby deck building game that came out in February of 2019. And... <laughs> And then by April 2020, the servers had been shut down. Now, this game was published by Rooster Teeth, but it was developed by 80 Arcade. Then we look at Ruby Crystal Match, which came out in August of 2019. Um, it's published by Rooster Teeth, but it's got two developers, EGLS Technology and Crunchyroll Games. Now, the thing about Ruby Crystal Match is you never see anything about it posted. Like, if a lot of my followers and mutuals on Twitter are play still playing this game, they never post about it. I don't think even... Jess downloaded it day one, and I don't think she even plays it anymore. Um, and then, of course, you have Ruby Grim Eclipse. Probably the biggest Ruby game that was ever released. Um... And it's, it's still up to play, but they no longer support it. Like, there's no further content that's going to come out. That was known November of last year. Um, I don't know if the servers are still available that you can actually play with other people, but I do know you can play it as a single-player game. Now, um, this game, of course, was published by Rooster Teeth, and it was developed by Rooster Teeth plus Jordan Scott. And... Um, yeah, like, a lot of people are still to this day upset that Rooster Teeth quit supporting Grim Eclipse. Um, and it's perfectly understandable why people are upset about Amity Arena. Um, now, Amity Arena is published by Rooster Teeth, but it has a separate developer. NHN Entertainment and BioBabNet, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. So, the Amity Arena is not a game that Rooster Teeth is making. They are just the publisher. They're the ones who pretty much put the game out to be bought. So, 
them shutting it down, I don't know if this is a decision by the actual developer or if Rooster Teeth is just telling them that they're no, they no longer want to publish the game. I'm not sure. Um, cause the thing is, Amni Arena, beside, after Grim Eclipse, was probably one of the most popular Ruby games released. Um, cause a lot of people were still playing it. There are people who are upset about this because there are a lot of people who bought a lot of stuff in the game cause it was on sale for Christmas. Um, cause so, you know, there are people already asking for refunds and stuff like that. And apparently, I think they are giving out like some stuff as compensation for the shutdown. Um, so, you know, why did this happen? And I mean, it could be a lot of things. It could be even despite a lot of people playing it, they're not making enough money to keep the game going. Uh, cause you gotta remember Rooster Teeth, as much as the stuff, as much as, as much as they put out, they're still considered a small studio. You know, the, it's not like they have endless money to continue stuff. So that, I, I still think that's maybe the reason why they quit supporting Grim Eclipse. They probably just didn't make enough money off of it. Even though, you know, after they released Team, Team Juniper, I would have bought Team Sun, Team Coffee, any characters they had released. Like, I, some people were even hoping for a story expansion for that game, and it just never happened. Um, but it's hard to say how much money Amity Arena was giving, was bringing them. Um, the biggest theory I have, now this could be 100% wrong, but let's just say, st like, you know, let's make believe that somehow Rooster Teeth was losing money with Amity Arena. Let's just, let's just pretend it wasn't making enough money to keep it running. Well, at RTX, Carrie and them announced that there is going to be a new Ruby video game in 2021. This game is going to be for consoles, and it's going to be for PC. So it's going to be a pretty, you know, hopefully a pretty big game. Um, I hope it's not another fighting game, though I believe the ones that are developing it are uh, are the ones that made uh, Cross Tag Battle. And... Um, I mean, fighting games are fine. I'm not a big fan of them because I just feel like they don't have enough content to keep you coming back. Um, but if it's a fighter, I'll still do a Let's Play of it because, you know, I plan on maybe getting it getting it on both uh, console and PC. Um, but they did say it takes place during Volume 7, so hey, it's a canon game. So I think what, you know, what could have happened is... Maybe to get this game going and to make sure that it's going to release on time and it's going to be a good game, maybe Rooster Teeth wanted to put all their focus on that game now because they're not the ones making it. They're probably going to be the ones publishing it, but, um, I mean, who knows? Who knows? Who knows if the new video game has anything to do with this? It could be simply that they just never intended this game to be a long-lasting game. Um, now... It, it's funny because it seems like every time something like this happens, certain people in the fandom are like, oh, this is the end of Rooster Teeth. This is the end of Ruby. And yes, people are saying because somehow Ruby Amity Arena getting shut down somehow translates to Ruby Volume 8's not coming back. Like, they're just, you know, they're not coming back after their mid-season hiatus. Even though they've already shown us a sneak peek clip of chapter eight <laughs> i i don't understand the logic of of some people on the internet it, it's just like <sighs> are you really living in a world that black and white like are you really wanting this show to go down that hard that a game that they don't even develop they just published it is shutting down and let's face it guys Service games like this that are that you have to have an online connection and all that, they always run the risk of being shut down because the developers just decide they don't want to do support the game anymore. I uh, I always say all these parents and all these people buying, like spending all this money on Fortnite, on skins, on weapons, one day they're going to shut that game down and all that money you spent on it is just going to be gone. Like, there's nothing you'll be able to do with it. And that's why I don't like these kinds of games, because, yeah, you'll spend all that money so you can win matches and all that, but once it shuts down, it's gone. Like, you can't play it anymore. Um, 
So that's one reason why I never played this game. Plus, I don't think my phone could run it, to tell you the truth. Um, so yeah, I just, I, I just don't see where people are getting that this game shutting down, that Rooster Teeth doesn't even develop themselves means Ruby's not going to like, you know, their gaming, their gaming studio and their animation studio do not affect each other. So I, I, I don't understand that. I, I think it's just people grasping at straws just because they want to be edgy and all that. But, um, it, it does stink because a lot of people were enjoying this game. Um, there was people who made friendships through this game, even actual relationships through this game. So yeah, I do hate it for them because it, you know, when, when you enjoy a game that much, it does become a really uh, good memory. And I mean, I think it also has to do with like, and I hope this isn't what happened, but it could possibly be that be that like you know with Crystal Match with the deck deck building game. Um, that some people just saw Ruby as a cash grab and thought they'd make some extra cash on it, and when it didn't make the money that they wanted to, they just abandoned it. Um, that could very well be it as well, because um, that happens all the time in video games. It sadly does. Um, I mean, you can still play Crystal Match, but they don't do anything with it. The debt building game is pretty much dead, and Arena's going to be dead in a few, you know, in, in about a month. Uh, no, not a month. What the heck am I talking about? Um, a little over a month. No, less than a month. I don't know. I'm horrible at math, guys. Um, so, yeah, like, like I said, I understand people being upset, but, like, I don't think it's anything... It has, it's, it's not, it's, it's not a sign that Rooster Teeth is in trouble. Let's just say that. It's just that probably the developer behind Amnit Arena is just, has just decided they just don't want to run the game anymore. Maybe they're not making enough money off of it. I don't know. I don't know how much, how many people were, were actually playing this game. Um, and like I said, could the new video game coming out next year have anything to do with it? Who knows? Maybe Rooster Teeth decided they wanted to focus all their gaming resources on that. Depends on what kind of game it is. You know, if it's just another fighter, eh, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of hoping for like an action-adventure kind of game or maybe even a little RPG. I don't know. I doubt it. Ruby would Ruby would be great as an RPG. Like, create your own huntsman or huntress and go on an adventure. Maybe run into the members of Team Ruby along the way. It'd be a great concept. Get on that, Rooster Teeth. Make us a RPG of Ruby. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to make this little video, give my thoughts on it, maybe think about what could have happened. I could be 100% wrong. At the end of the day, it's just my opinion, just my theories. Um, so if you are upset, I understand. Um, and to the people who think this has anything to do with the actual show, no. No. <laughs> Anyway, guys, short little video. Just wanted to give my thoughts on this. Um, if you did enjoy it, please hit the subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. Click that like button. We're almost 340 subscribers, getting us even closer to 400 subscribers. Our biggest goal is 1,000. If we hit 1,000, we can make a lot of changes to the channel, make it better as far as production value and all that. So let's get there soon. If you want to support us on Patreon, link is in the description. Thank you for all our Patreon supporters. If you do want to, it's only $1 uh, to get almost everything. There is some stuff that, that um, I've still got to ask Jess what all the pay tiers are so I can do it in every video. But thank you to our Patreon supporters. Thank you to our subscribers. We love every single one of you guys. Stay safe out there. Take care of yourselves. Stay warm. Play the games you love. And I will see you in the next one. See ya.